At Tompkins Mayo Pack Bank, we make mobile banking easier and better so you can embrace everything that life sends your way. Because you can't live your life by phone, but you can use it to make your life better. Tompkins Mayo Pack Bank. Halloween must be getting close because the clown masks are everywhere and not just in places like the Spirit Halloween store in the town of Ulster. In fact, you're more likely to see them out on the streets these days. The costume shops aren't necessarily contributing to the hysteria being created by creepy clowns. Our clown masks actually haven't picked up at all. We've sold maybe like three, maybe even four of that, not very much at all. It's the latest gag created by social media, a creepy epidemic involving alleged incidents of people dressing in clown attire and terrorizing adults and children alike in at least a dozen states. The craze finally made its way to the Hudson Valley late last week. It's only a matter of time before they sneak up on the wrong person and then they're going to get shot by somebody and then, you know, that's going to hit the news and we're going to hear that for two months. Now, area authorities aren't the least bit amused by the so-called creepy clown phenomenon. At least two police chiefs here in Ulster County say they've gotten numerous reports of sightings at places like St. Mary of the Snow Cemetery here in Saugerties, and they've dedicated resources to what so far have proven to be unfounded incidents. And in fact, in the past two weeks, we've had 10 incidences of clown sightings throughout both the town and the village of Saugerties, and each time that we've gotten there to locate the clowns, we're unable to find the clowns. You know, people need to, uh, to kind of be at ease. I don't believe there's any underground cult movement. Uh, this is more copycat stuff. I can tell you that it's been very time consuming because we've gotten uh, probably uh, several reports. I can't uh, pinpoint a number, but I can tell you that um, the one uh, involved social media, contacting um, high school students through social media, through Facebook Messenger, Instagram, various different um, social media accounts. Uh, and trying to uh, lure kids into talking to the subject. Both agencies say while they haven't been able to substantiate any of the reports, they remain vigilant. You can't be in a position to say it can't happen here, it won't happen here. You know, uh, we're not like that. We have to investigate. We're a police agency. We have to investigate. It is against the law. It is disorderly conduct other than Halloween or a masquerade party if you're out in public and you have a mask on. That is actually illegal in the law. So here in New York, um, if you're driving around in a vehicle, if you're just walking around for the purpose to create chaos and havoc and mayhem and you have a mask on, you will be arrested for disorderly conduct if we catch you.